Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain. Uh, so, the beginning of this episode, I wanted to get the Riot SMG blueprint, and here it is. So, I just wanted to get that. Trying, trying not to do anything off camera, at least uh, all these side ops and stuff like that, it, it will all be on camera. So. Um, we ended up getting that blueprint, and now we are going to extract extract our Soviet Russian friend, the engineer, who's probably going to help us build cool stuff. It seems like the side ops are actually needed, not needed, but generally help and assist in the uh, in the playing of the actual main game with the quests and everything. Because that first one was the interpreter. And that interpreter is great because now I can now interrogate enemies. I can now understand them on the radio and stuff like that. It's not just weird, crazy yelling anymore. Now it's actually speaking. I, I can actually understand the language and everything like that. So that's kind of nice. And then the second one was just going and getting a blueprint um and the the way i actually found that blueprint i don't know if i ran through the house and accidentally found it and then just ran around the village for another 10 minutes because i just i honestly couldn't figure out where this was until i hit m uh, until i went on the map and and accidentally hovered over it all right so it's sundown darkness is good for infiltration but your vision will be affected just the same keep your guard up but who knows when you'll bump into an enemy yeah, you know what? I'm more worried about bumping into those skulls because those guys were uh, difficult to say the least and they beat me up pretty good. Okay, so let's take a look at the objectives here. I think there's a list of them on the mission. So I don't think it shows you these in ga in the uh, in the thing here. Yes, we're going to over the fence. Okay, I wanted I did accept that, but I wanted to see the challenges. Okay, apparently I can't until at least do the mission once. Uh, okay. So, never mind. Can't, can't actually so tell. Sandstorms come in. Yes, the sandstorms sand come in. Make you blind and deaf. But yes, that goes for the that's, too. that's, uh, true. I am blind and deaf when those come in. So we actually got a gerbil in the capture cage that I placed. And I got a gunsmith for shotguns. Nice. Okay. Is there anything I actually have to watch in these cutscenes? Or did Snake just plug in his uh, his little droid thing to the... Okay, that's literally it. It just does a little... Does a little animation where he plugs in his phone uh, into the charger there and then just skips to the mission details. Or whatever it's doing right now. Okay. Well, thank God it's starring me, man. I was worried that it had somebody else in it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, man, don't worry. It's weird that it says starring and everything like that. When, uh... Oh! Look at this thing! It's just a puppy! So You're mine now. Bye, puppy. That wild dog. He's a tough little guy. Huh. Boss, this is no time to be playing with animals. What are you gonna do, boss? So I actually kind of wanna. We'll I kind of wanted to snipe them. Apparently, I can't spot him with that. That's fine. Um. There's no range indicators in this, so that kind of stinks, but that's okay. I was just wondering kind of how far he was from me. It's not showing. That's fine. I don't see anybody on the path other than him right now. Like, there's nobody nobody up here. Okay, there is a guy right there. Do you see anybody else? Uh, I do not. I see this guy up here. He's not going to be able to see us from way over here. So we're going to interrogate this guy on the far left. That's the plan. We're gonna. Oh, never mind. Hold on. I think I just saw. Yep, I did. I did. I did see a putty tat. 
Captain? Yeah, we can actually go under this, so we're not gonna mess around with getting caught. Also, there's diamonds right here, so we'll just take those. I like this. I like that you can aim like that. Um, to actually find that blueprint, yeah, difficult, uh, probably because of my own stupidity, but also, hold up here, where, where did that guy stop? There he is. Okay. All right. You have arrived um, at your destination. Yeah, I interrogated a guy. He talked about a blueprint, and I don't know if it either marked it on my map so I knew exactly where that blueprint was the entire time or what, but I had a really difficult time finding it. And it, it. It shouldn't have been that hard in all reality. Here we go. Let's, let's walk up on it. All right. I want to get, like, a stealth suit so this guy can't see anything. Uh, I'll tell you where the prisoners are. That's one thing I need. Okay, he's not gonna... He's not gonna tell me where everything else is. But we're just gonna finish him off real fast and then move on. Uh, I like the... I like the little stab he does in the chest, man. He just goes right for that heart and then, uh, and then we move on. But I'm thinking there are better suits than the one I'm wearing. Because right now my guy's wearing combat boots. I don't know if you've ever worn these things, but they are loud as hell. The, the noise that Snake makes... Not exaggerated at all. I've worn boots similar to that, um, and uh, they they are quite noisy. So I think we need to invest in some new in some new gear. I want to get that stealth suit. I just don't have the uh, unfortunately I don't have the R and D team for it right now. Let's see how close we get. So we get a, we get about four meters away from them before we actually get seen by them. Oh, I wanted to just take him. Thank you. That's, that's all I was trying to do. We're gonna stash him in the uh, in the weeds up here. Better, better yet, we'll stash him behind these rocks. There you go. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna deal with that guy in the tower. Don't need to. We're actually just gonna skip these guys and go straight for the uh, the prisoners up here because that's what we're here for. And we don't really need to fight all these guys, and I'm realizing it's not worth to fight all these guys every time. I think we might actually just be able to slip past them, and it'll be easier and save me some time instead. So, we're only going to try to take some more of the fights that we actually have to. Um, we don't have to take this guy, but I want his. I want the resources behind him. No, shh, don't, don't say anything. Here, hold on. Let's see what he's going to say. You need blueprints. So there's one here. The map has been updated. Okay. So, he just, I think he actually called out where the blueprint is. Let's see if I can actually find it. Um, yeah, there it is. There's the blueprint. So, because he told me where the blueprint is, I can actually just go to it this time instead of doing all that stupid shit that I did last time and running around the map for 10 minutes for no reason. Alright, that's good. Um, let's see if I can actually get to the, oh, okay, he's coming to us, he's coming to us. Where's this guy going? Oh, shit. Hold on here. There we go. Yeah, there it is. I was gonna say. Where's this guy going? Oh, no, 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 no. That's not good. Oh, he's driving away. He's driving away. Never mind. Doesn't matter. Um, we're gonna take this guy and just throw him off a cliff real fast. I'm not kidding in that either. I mean, like, we're literally gonna throw this dude off and hope that he dies. Yep, he died. That's what I wanted. I, I don't want this guy to get back up, but I, I don't like the stun. I don't like the idea of stunning him and uh, and leaving him. I don't think there's another way into this place other than through the front door, so I guess that's the way we're going. Uh, I don't like this, but that's okay. Let's see, let's see. There's quite a few people here right now. I'm not a big fan of that. We need to get over there. This guy's gonna come over here, though. We're gonna have to deal with him. If, whether that means kill him or put him to sleep, we're gonna have to deal with this guy here in a second because he's about to get too close. Um, that guy over there too. Mm, I'm I don't like I don't like this. Is he gonna turn around and go away? Now that he's not suspicious, he is. He's he's so he's walking away. Good, good. Now we can just walk right behind him. We need to go this way. We need to turn off the power. I saw the the power thing over here. There's also quite a few soldiers over here. There's this guy in the window and whatnot. 
And uh, I know we need to take him out. There we go. This actually should draw a guard over to it as well. Hold on here. Let's go this way. Okay, so we've got these guys. Let's let's see. All right, we got this guy. Um, there's that guy inside as well. I can't go that way. Oh, this guy's coming. This guy's coming. All right, come on, come on, soldier of fortune. Let's go. Come on over. Here he comes. Here we go. He is going to tell us. I don't know. Probably. Nah, there's a stash of rough diamonds around here. That's kind of what I expected him to say. Actually, was that there were diamonds around here because that's what they almost always say. So, um, normally it's if there's a blueprint, then well, normally it's objective. Then if there's additional stuff here like a blueprint, then he'll tell me where the blueprint is. And then, oh, here we go. Let's see if let's see if I can take this guy down. Actually, that's not actually what I wanted to do, but that works too. I wanted to just not get caught by those two guys. I wanted to grab him, though, and then kill him like I did the first guy. Uh, that's unfortunate, but whatever. Let's let's see if I can get him up here and throw him off this cliff. If I throw him off of this, will he die? Ah, come on. Just, no! Ah! Alright, whatever. If I get him up... Okay. Okay, just, I want him to get up so that I can grab him and kill him. Yep, that's it. So that actually works. You can take them off in somewhere and then just kill them. Um, where's that blueprint at? So there's a rough diamond, there's a blueprint, and then there's a rough diamond. Oh, okay. You know, I didn't even know you marked the rough diamonds on my map, actually. I didn't look the last time. Um... I have that sniper still, so let's just pull that out and mark this guy. Or not. Or not. Let's, can I mark him with the binoculars? I cannot. Okay. Seems kind of strange. Uh, here we go. Rough diamond. That's good. That's good. There's probably... Yep, there it is. Some resources. That's what I was also looking for. Uh, I didn't see that there was anything else here other than the diamonds and the blueprint here. So I'm not gonna... Oh, he's looking. He's looking. This isn't good. Yeah. Okay. We we ended up getting to him fast enough that it didn't matter. Go ahead, um, get him up. And then we'll just we'll uh CQC him. Yep, go ahead and kill him. Maybe I should have maybe I should have interrogated him first and seen if there was anything else here, but I didn't. Um is that guy still looking at us? He has to be, right? He has to be. Is he coming this way? He might be. I don't see him. Okay. Let's see if I can... If, let's see if I can sneak out of here real fast. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Alright, yeah. He is. He, uh... He didn't end up coming over, but he saw me. Okay. It looks like he's the only one standing there, so... Let's see if we can take him out, too. Hey, man, if I can wipe this whole camp out, that's how we're going to do it. All right. Find the target in the Watson barracks and get him out alive. Unfortunately, I can't put, I can't walk up on this. Uh, this is just going to have to wait a second. And my friend just messaged me. He wants to play Phasmophobia, which uh, that is coming soon, TM. I'm telling you. What? Soon. Soon I will play Phasmophobia and uh, and record it. This guy's gonna catch me. Is he gonna get me? Is he gonna get me? No. This guy's not. But what about him behind me? Let's see. Can I get him? Okay, hold on. Let's take this guy out. Oh. Is he gonna see me? He didn't see me. He didn't see me. What a guy, man. What a blind guy. Let's, uh, let's actually get this guy, you know? He's standing alone, man. Might as well. Let's go. We're going to go in, we're going to interrogate him, see what else we've got here. Um, you will find a cassette tape here. Alright, hey, why, why not? Is there anything else? I think you can only ask him that question one time. Anyway, we're just going to kill him. 
I don't think we need to move him too much, actually. Oh, here we go. This guy's, this guy's coming around. Come here, buddy. Yeah, that was easy. That was easy. Um, let's see. What else is here? We hit diamonds here again. So, how much stuff is in one of these, one of these bases, man? If there's, uh, let's check the map. So we've got rough diamonds in here. Where's the cassette tape at? Or does that? Oh, it's all here. Rough target, rough diamond, target FLM. Uh, we've got a cassette tape, and there's a rough diamond to my right. Is that, is that correct? There's a rough diamond. Oh, right here on the table. Yes, that's what it was. All right. You know, I actually didn't think it was possible to uh, to get these guys so easy uh, to like walk up behind them and then just beat the shit out of them all the time. But it's it's quite easy. Here we go. Let's go ahead and see. I don't know what he ended up saying. Oh, let me go. I don't know anything. So. I think that that just means we're out of stuff to uh, to find here. Let's see. Let's uh, go in here. Let's grab some resources. And then let's grab... Uh, let's get these prisoners, man. Let's get them out of here. I guess, right? There's a lot of stuff in this base. This is I haven't been to this one yet. This is actually a new mission for me. I never did this one. Even when I played the first time. Uh, I really didn't understand the game at all when I played the first time. This time is is significantly different than the last time I've played. I think we actually have to get these people out of here. Oh, never, never mind, never mind. We just have to walk them out. That's all. That looks like the target. Yeah. Alright, hold on. Here. Oh, okay. He made this prosthetic. Let's, uh, let's kind of sweep this place and just see if there's anything else here, you know? I bet there's a soldier up here. Yep, there is, there is. Okay, um, there's probably another one in here. Oh, he saw me. This guy actually saw me. I didn't mean to do that, but I accidentally did. Hold on here. Let's walk up here. Can I vault here? No, not safely. He's, he's coming over. Hold on. Just wait. Where's he at? There it is. I was gonna say, he should be here in, in a second. Let's go over here. Let's grab his stuff. I want a uniform that makes me be able to, like, run or walk at least and not be this loud. Because I am quite noisy, I think. I'm not going to fall through that. I'm not that dumb. Uh, I saw these resources over here. That's kind of what baited me out. That's what made me get spotted by that guy, but that's fine. Um, let's see. I don't think there's anyone else here. I thought maybe there might be some additional prisoners or something. There's not. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and grab our guy. Hey, what's going on, buddy? Yeah, go ahead, get on my shoulders. I don't think there's any other... My specialty is not humdrum mechanics. If there's nothing in the way overhead, you should okay. be able to bolt him Yeah, that's fine. We'll just pull him out with the, uh, with the photon device. I think if, if it works, it works, and nobody's gonna get to see it, so... That's probably the easiest way to do it. Is there anybody else actually here? Before I leave this place, I just wanna make sure that no one else... Uh, that I'm not leaving anyone behind, basically. Your objective's complete. Exfiltrate out of the hot zone by chopper or on land. Okay, so we have to... We actually have to leave the area again. Um, is there something going on here? Is there anything here? Not really. Is there someone... Oh, I thought I saw somebody behind me. Never mind. Okay. Um, is there a chopper or something that they have? Nope, wait, hold on. I hear a car. Is it coming up? It is coming up. Hold on here. Let's take that car. I lied. It's not coming up. Damn it. I thought he was. Hell, man. We could just ride out of here on a horse right now if we wanted to. I think that's what I'm going to do. We're going to grab D horse and just and run right out of here. First, we're going to snipe this guy because I want to. Hold on here. Oh, give me that. What? This sniper sucks. There it is. Yeah. Gunfire. No fix on the position. I like when they say that. 
I like when they say that they don't know where I'm at. That makes me, uh, makes me a pretty good sniper, right, man? Yeah. Oh, hold on, what is that? Never mind, nothing important. Um, let's see if I have any... Do I, I do, I have more capture cages. Let's see. Hold on here. Let's just, let's put some capture cages down, man. Why not? Um, there we go. Maybe we'll catch some goats here. I don't know. I don't even know what these capture cages do other than just provide me money sometimes, so... Yeah, you know, might as well. You might as well put them down. You might catch something good. You might not catch anything good, but um, you always catch something. That's almost always a guarantee, it seems, on those capture cages. All right, how big is the hot zone here? Because I really just kind of want to get out of this. Um, okay, we're really, really close. It'll be, you know, just another 20 feet here. Um, maybe I want to snake so fast. I wonder if I could actually raise that jeep and, and get it. You know what I mean? But but I could kill that guy. Oh. What did I? Oh, never mind. I just finished the mission. That's all. All right, we got the leopard gecko. So we caught more gerbils. I really don't care about these gerbils. What else did I catch two of? Oh, I didn't catch anything in the other two. Oh, okay. Uh, so D horse and I now have a bond of level two. Is there an A-plus rank or, like, an S rank or something? Or am I bad? Um, am I not getting perfect stealth, no kills, no enemy combat alerts, no reflex? So, no kills, no reflex, no enemy combat alerts, and perfect stealth, no kills. So, there's actually a bonus for not killing anybody, apparently. I didn't know that. Not that I'm super worried about killing people. Alright. So here's our guy. We should be able to upgrade our bionic arm now, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah, man. I want some upgrades for my, my freaking metal arm. Hell yeah, man. Prosthetic arms can now be developed, and we uh, recovered two more gerbils, apparently. Is that, are those the same gerbils, or are those two more gerbils? We got a Bextein bat, and we got a, a leopard gecko! There it is! So, we've got a... He is a B in electronics, but apparently it goes to S++. I imagine those guys are like your... I don't know, they, they have to be high-tier, high-profile guys or something, you know? Do it for me. Come back to Mother Base ASAP. Okay. So I have to come back to Mother Base. I kind of wanted to look through the research tree on the prosthetic arm. Uh, I thought maybe we'd just look through that and then end the episode. That's kind of the plan. Or apparently we're going back to Mother Base. We already are here, so... I guess when in Rome... I'm not going to do anything at Mother Base, though. I just want to look through the prosthetic arm stuff and then we'll, we'll cut it. That's that dog I rescued, I think. Is the dog you brought back? Better be trouble. <laughs> it is. This is the dog I brought sure back. Breed, though. Oh, that's so funny. He'll get bigger. Uh huh. Like this. I hope so, man. I hope by the end of the game he is you know, a huge wolf. After. He's still a pup, so he doesn't listen. I have a feeling oh, someday man. he'll be useful. That's so cool, though. Why is Snake always covered in blood, too? Yes. Polish. It's so we got funny. a true diamond dog on our hands. Hell yeah, we do, man. That's the mascot, bro. That's the mascot. I should have known that whenever I flew his ass in here, but he's such a good dog. Good boy. Who's who's the goodest boy? This is the goodest boy. Ocelot raising hounds. Ocelot raising. Wait, does that mean I can send back other wolves and uh, we'll have an army of wolves and humans? Come on, Didi. And all we have to do is pay them in meat. Keep them fed. I mean, I could always just send back soldiers if those count up. If that counts as meat, then uh, I think we're good, right? Wait, what? Okay, I actually did know about the Phantom Cigar. I read it in the menus earlier. Basically, he smokes that cigar and time passes around him. Um, okay, let's take a look at the uh, prosthetics here. Development, we go to weapons, probably in here, right? Okay, here we go. So, we can have active sonar. Which enables the use of echolocation to locate enemies, uh, prisoners, and animals. We can have mobility. Um, it add extended reflex mode duration and faster prone climbing movement. 
We can have precision. This makes him probably aim faster. Yeah, improved full-ton extraction success rate. Okay. Improved damage resistance. Serious injury sub subdual. I heard this is actually a really good one. Um, the medical. And then we have stun arm. So snakes, snake custom stun gun, st stun gun, prosthesis, prosthesis. I don't know. Anyway, and then we can get rocket arms and blast arms. All right, man. Okay. Well, I look, uh, I look forward to messing around with this. Um, for now though, that's gonna end the episode here. Uh, we're back at Mother Base. Things are moving on. We've got actual uh, missions now instead of just the mercenary contracts that we were doing that's the next one i think is um where do bees sleep so this is actually for us not a contracted out mission that somebody else wanted us to do for them this is one that we're actually doing for ourselves now um but anyway if you guys are enjoying this series please don't forget to drop a like subscribe all that good stuff and i'll catch you in the next one